school camp. Peppa and her friends are going on a school camp. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I don't feel very well. The bus is very bumpy. Oh dear, Pedro Pony is feeling a bit travel sick. Poor Pedro. Come and sit in the front with me. <laughs> there. Is that better? A little bit. Madam Gazelle. Oh, do you feel sick too, Zoe? I might feel sick later. Can I sit at the front just in case? <coughs> Can I sit at the front too? And, and me! me. Oh, oh. I'm sorry, children. You can't all sit at the front. Oh, Never mind. We're at the campsite now. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Happy camping, everyone. Bye-bye. This is our campsite. Breathe in the wonderful fresh air, children. <gasps> Excellent breathing. Now let's put up our tents. Peppa and her friends are putting up their tents. Children. You must each find a partner to share your tent. Susie, shall we share a tent? <laughs> I said I'd share with Zoe. Oh, sorry, Susie. I said I'd share with Rebecca. Rebecca, you said you'd share with me. Oh, yes. <laughs> Emily, who are you going to share a tent with? Um, Zoe. OK, good. Now you can share with me. OK. <laughs> <laughs> now I need sticks to make a campfire. We'll get sticks. But me and Pedro want to get sticks. Ha ha, you can all collect <laughs> sticks. <laughs> Peppa and her friends collect sticks for the campfire. <laughs> Wonderful. It is night time. Peppa and her friends are sitting around the campfire. Children, let's all sing a song. Yes! yes. The Bing Bong song, please. Oh, I'm not sure. Please, please Madam, Madam Gazelle, sing, sing the, the Bing, Bing Bong, Bong song. song. All right. Ooh, we're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Now, children, time for bed. <laughs> Good night, children. Good, Good night, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are in their sleeping bags. I've got a torch. Me too. <laughs> Attention, children. No more giggling, please. What was that funny noise? I don't know. There it is again. <coughs> Susie, where are you going? Madam Gazelle. <coughs> I'm a bit scared. Oh, would you like to come in? Yes, please. <coughs> Madam Gazelle. <coughs> I think I'm a bit scared too. Can I come in, please? Of course. <coughs> I think I might be scared later. I might be scared later too. And, and me. me! Come in, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have the Bing Bong song, please? All right. We're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. <laughs> school bus trip. Peppa and her friends are going on a school bus trip. <laughs> Children! <laughs> Children! Attention, please. Let's check that you're all here. Peppa and George. Here. <laughs> Rebecca and Richard Rabbit. Here. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Susie Sheep. Here. <laughs> Zoe Zebra. Here. 
Danny Dog. Here. Emily Elephant. Here. <laughs> Pedro Pony. Pedro Pony is not here. Sorry we're late. Pedro, you almost missed the school trip. Sorry, Madam Gazelle. Never mind, you're just in time. All aboard! Hey. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is the bus driver. Full steam ahead. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> 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 Children, attention please. Today we are going on a trip to the mountains. Hooray! Have you all got your lunch boxes? Yes, yes Madam, Madam Gazelle. Gazelle. Madam Gazelle, please can we eat our lunch now? Peppa, we'll eat lunch when we arrive in the mountains. Peppa, what have you got in your lunch box? A red apple. I've got a green apple. Swap. OK. <laughs> Peppa, Susie, what are you doing? Susie told me to open my lunchbox. Peppa told me to swap our apples. Oh, that's fine. But please, save some food for the picnic. Yes, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> the bus has arrived at the foot of the mountains. The mountain road is very steep. Come on, bus. You can make it. Come on, bus. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa and her friends are at the top of the mountain. Look at the view. Wow. 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 Who said that? It's your echo. What's my echo? An echo is the sound you hear when you speak loudly in the mountains, like this. Yodle eeyo! Yodle eeyo! Yodle eeyo! Hit him! Yodle eeyo! Yodle eeyo! Yodle eeyo! Echoes are fun. Time for our picnic. <laughs> Peppa loves picnics. Everyone loves picnics. Where are the ducks? They always turn up when we have picnics. Silly Peppa. Ducks don't live on top of mountains. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Hello, Mrs Duck. Would you like some bread? <coughs> the ducks are very lucky today. There is lots of bread. The ducks are eating too quickly. Goodness me! <laughs> <laughs> home time! All aboard! It's time to go home. Everybody has had a great time. <laughs> Let's all sing a song. Can we have the Bing Bong song, please? Oh, oh. Please, please, Madam, Madam Gazelle, sing, sing the, the Bing Bong, bong song. song. All right. Ooh, we're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Bong, bing, boo. Bing, bong, bing. Bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, boo. Bong, bing, boo. Bing, bong, bing. Bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, boo. <laughs> <laughs> Over. It is night time. Peppa is going to a sleepover at Zoe Zebra's house. <laughs> Hello, Zoe. Hi, Peppa. Welcome to my sleepover. I'll pick you up in the morning. Bye bye, Peppa. Bye. <laughs> Rebecca, Susie, and Emily are already here. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. I've got my teddy. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Zoe has her toy monkey. Oh, oh, oh. Emily has her frog. <laughs> Susie has her owl. Twitterwoo! And Rebecca has her carrot. Carrot, carrot! <laughs> Mr. Zebra is watching television. <laughs> That's better. I was watching that. But it 
was a bit boring, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Zebra is going to bed now. He has to get up early to deliver the post. Very well, Mummy Zebra. Don't stay up too late. Good night, Mummy. Peppa and her friends are getting into their sleeping bag. <laughs> Zoe's baby twin sisters, Zuzu and Zaza, want to join the sleepover too. <laughs> the sleepover is only for big girls. <laughs> oh, they're so sweet and little. Can they stay? OK, but you must promise you'll stay awake. We promise. <laughs> Wow! A piano. I'm having lessons. Listen. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Can I have a go? And, and me. me. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Shush! You must be quiet so Daddy Zebra can sleep. Now, into your sleeping bags, please. <laughs> What do we do now? On sleepovers, there's always a midnight feast. What's a midnight feast? We eat things in secret. Ooh! Ooh. I know where there's food, but we must be very quiet. <laughs> Shh, Susie. Shh, Peppa. Quiet. Mummy Zebra has woken up. We're going to have the best midnight feast ever. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? You'll wake Daddy Zebra. Now, who knows a nice, gentle bedtime story? Me. And me. I'll start. Once upon a time, there was a little fairy. Now your turn, Peppa. And she lived in the forest. She was very pretty. And she had a fairy wand. Lovely. Your turn, Emily. Tell us what happens next. Well, I'm not really sure. Just say anything, Emily. As long as it's not boring. OK. The little fairy met a big monster who went... <laughs> <laughs> What's all this noise? Oh dear, the noise has woken Mr Zebra. Sorry, Daddy. There was a story about a fairy. And a scary monster. And we want to know what happens next. Very well. <coughs> the monster lifted up his big hairy paws <gasps> and walked along on his big hairy feet. And he said, Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Mr Zebra's song has sent everyone to sleep. Butterflies. Today, Dr Hamster is at Pepper and George's playgroup. Everybody. Hello, Dr. Hamster! Dr. Hamster has brought an exciting creature to show us all. Can you guess what animal it is? Is it a whale? No, it's smaller than a whale. Is it an ant? No, it's bigger than an ant. Is it a big ant? It's a caterpillar. Wow! Lots of caterpillars. Yes. There's a stripy one. The stripes help it to hide in the grass. There's a furry one. <laughs> Can we stroke it? Uh, no, Molly. It might give you an itchy rash. The spotty one is eating a leaf. Yes. Caterpillars like eating leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Let's colour in our very own paper caterpillars. Hooray! <laughs> I'm doing a spotty one. <laughs> I'm doing an orange one. I think black and white stripes look nice. <laughs> <laughs> well done, everyone. Now, who can tell me what this is here? It's a leaf. It might look like a leaf, but it's not. 
It is a chrysalis, which is a shell for a caterpillar to hide in while it sleeps. Ooh! Is it like a cosy bed? Sort of. But when you go to sleep and wake up in your cosy bed, you're still Peppa Pig. Yes! But when the caterpillar wakes up in its chrysalis, it has turned into something completely different. Can you guess what it turns into? A whale! A pirate! Has it turned into a super caterpillar? No, none of those. Look, it's moving. The chrysalis is hatching. Ooh, what is it? Dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur, George. It's, it's a, a butterfly. butterfly. The caterpillar has turned into a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> Who wants to decorate one of these paper butterfly wings? Me! me, me, me. All the children are making beautiful butterfly wings. Oh, lovely. Can we do a butterfly dance? Yes, but we don't start as butterflies, do we, children? No. no. What was the butterfly before it was a butterfly? A caterpillar. That's right. First, you should do the caterpillar dance. Yay! <laughs> You're all caterpillars wiggling around on the ground. <laughs> I'm the wiggliest caterpillar. <laughs> Me too. I'm a super caterpillar. <laughs> and now it's time to go to sleep. Be very still, children. Imagine that you're nice and safe inside a cosy chrysalis. And you are changing into something different. Madame Gazelle and Dr Hamster are secretly putting the wings on the children. Now it's time to wake up and open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I've got wings! Me too! We're butterflies! <laughs> Pedro Pony is fast asleep. Vicky, Vicky, Pedro. <gasps> what is it, Mummy? Am I late for school? No, you are at school. Oh, I'm a butterfly. Nay. No. Yes, we're all butterflies. We are little butterflies who like to play. We flap our pretty wings and we play all day. We are little butterflies flying through the sky and we flap, flap. Peppa loves being a butterfly. Everyone loves being a butterfly. Bouncy ball. Peppa and George are going to play in the garden with their ball. Wee! George throws the ball as high as he can and catches it. I can do that too. Wee! Oh. Peppa has missed the ball. <laughs> this is a silly game. <laughs> Here is Peppa's best friend, Susie Sheep. <laughs> Susie has two tennis rackets. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Let's play tennis. Yes, that sounds fun. <laughs> to you, Susie. Susie has missed the ball. <laughs> oh. Peppa has missed the ball. <laughs> Peppa and Susie like playing tennis, but George feels a bit left out. Oh, sorry, George. You can't play tennis. We only have two rackets. <laughs> I know. George can be the ball boy. Yes, it's a very important job. <coughs> George is going to be the ball boy. He has to collect the ball when it is hit too far. To you, Susie. Oh, missed it. Ball boy. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you, ball boy. Oh, ball boy. Thank you, 
is Bull Boy. Bull Boy! <laughs> oh dear, George doesn't like this game. Here are Danny Dog, Pedro Pony, Candy Cat, Rebecca Rabbit and Richard Rabbit. Hello everyone! Hello! Hello. We're playing tennis. Can we play too? But there aren't enough rackets. Oh. oh. Let's play something else. <coughs> Let's play football. Yes, football! <coughs> Girls against boys. <laughs> <laughs> we each need a goalkeeper. Me, 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 me! Pedro Pony and Rebecca Rabbit will be the goalkeepers. We'll start. <laughs> Richard Rabbit has scored a goal. The boys are winning. <laughs> That's not fair. We weren't ready. <laughs> hey, that's cheating. You can't hold the ball. Yes, I can. I'm the goalkeeper. Go, go Rebecca, go. Go. <laughs> go. Hooray. The goal is not allowed. Yes, it is. No, no it, it isn't. isn't. Yes, yes, it is. No, what it a isn't. lot of noise. Daddy. The boys are cheating. No, the girls are cheating. It sounds like you need a referee. What's a referee? It's someone who makes sure that everyone plays fair. I'll be the referee. Me, 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 Stop. me, me. I'll be the referee. The next team to get a goal will win the game. Hooray! Where's the ball? <laughs> 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 goal! Richard Rabbit has scored a goal. Hooray! The boys win. Oh. Oh. Football is a silly game. Just a moment. The boys scored in their own goal. That means the girls win. Really? Hooray! Football is a great game. <laughs> <laughs> Nature Trail Today Peppa and her family are driving out to the countryside Daddy, what will we see in the countryside? We'll see birds and trees and flowers and bees <laughs> Dinosaur No, George, I don't think we'll see any dinosaurs <laughs> <laughs> This is the start of the nature trail. We're here. Hooray! <laughs> Daddy Pig, don't forget the picnic. Oh, oh, as if I would. Daddy, how do we know which way to go? Easy. The map says there should be a sign showing the start of the nature trail here. Well done, Daddy Pig. <laughs> oh, dear. Daddy Pig has forgotten the picnic. Peppa, what interesting things can you see? Just trees and trees and more boring trees. <laughs> Peppa, you're not looking hard enough. All right, I'll look really hard and I still won't see anything. Oh, what's that? Peppa has found some footprints. Whose footprints are these? Dinosaur! Oh, George, they're not dinosaur footprints. Let's follow the footprints and see who made them. Yes! Shh! We have to be very quiet so we don't scare anything away. Yes, Mummy! George! Shh! <laughs> Shh! <laughs> Peppa and George are following the footprints. Look! The footprints were made by a little bird. She's flown into a tree. Where? Here, Peppa. Look through the binoculars. The binoculars make everything look bigger. I can see one, two, three baby birds. Ah, oh, I wonder what they're eating. Yeah, they're eating worms. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> George has found more footprints. Ooh, what little footprints. The footprints are being made by ants. They're collecting leaves to eat. Are they going to have salad for lunch? Yes. 
Talking of lunch, let's have our picnic. Oh, the picnic. Daddy Pig, you've left the picnic in the car, haven't you? Uh, yes, but it's not a problem. We'll just go back to the car to eat. But which way is the car? My map will show us. This way. Oh, who put that tree there? It's not on the map. Oh, Daddy Pig, we're lost, aren't we? Uh, yes. How are we going to find our little car? George has found more footprints. Ooh, what big footprints? Dinosaur. Very interesting. What? Has George found some real dinosaur footprints? No, these are our footprints. And if we follow our footprints, we'll find the way back to our car. And our picnic. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can stop us finding our car now. We're home and dry. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Luckily, I remembered the umbrella. The rain is washing the footprints away. How are we going to find the car now? And our picnic. <laughs> it's the ducks. They always turn up at picnics. Sorry, Mrs Duck. We haven't got a picnic this time. We can't find it. I know. Mrs Duck, can you help us find our picnic, please? <laughs> <laughs> We're here. Hooray. Thank you, Mrs Duck. <laughs> <laughs> I love nature trails. Yes, and I love picnics. And the ducks love picnics. And the little birds love picnics. And the ants love picnics. Everybody loves picnics. <laughs> <laughs> sports day. Today is the school sports day. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are all here. The first event is running. <laughs> the children have to run as fast as they can. I think I will win. I can run very fast. <laughs> I'm faster than you. Ready, steady, go! I can run at a hundred miles an hour. I can run at a million miles an hour. Peppa, Susie, stop talking and run! Oh! Rebecca Rabbit is in the lead. Oh dear, Peppa and Susie are right at the back. Come on, Peppa! Come on, Daddy! Rebecca Rabbit wins. <laughs> and Peppa and Susie are last. The winner of the race is Rebecca Rabbit. Hooray! Squeak! Thank you. <laughs> I would have won if you hadn't been talking to me, Susie. Now, now, Peppa. Remember, it's not winning that matters, but taking part. Yes, Daddy. The next event is the long jump. <laughs> George and Richard have to see who can jump the furthest. George, run as fast as you can, then jump as far as you can. <laughs> George, ready? Steady, go! <laughs> George has jumped as far as he can. And now it's Richard Rabbit's turn. <laughs> if Richard doesn't run, he won't jump very far. Richard Rabbit, ready, steady, go! <laughs> Richard Rabbit has jumped <laughs> further than George. And the winner is Richard Rabbit. Hooray! <laughs> George, remember, it's not the winning that matters, but taking part. <laughs> the next race is the relay. Each child needs to pick a parent to race with. Peppa, pick me! Pick me! But, Daddy, you're not very good at running. I was very good when I was a little piggy. But now you have a big tummy. But I can still touch my toes. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> All right, Daddy, but you must run very fast. <laughs> the mummies and daddies will run the first part of the race and then hand the batons to the children. Mummies and daddies, ready, steady, go! Run, 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 run
Daddy Pig is in the lead. Come on, Daddy! Come on, Daddy! Come on, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. You did very well. Now it's my turn to Pepper, take... stop talking and run! Oh! <laughs> Keep on running! running. Keep on running! Go on! And the winner is Emily Elephant. Hooray! <laughs> oh, Daddy, I haven't won a prize yet. Don't worry, Pepper. There's still one more event. And now for the last event of the day, the tug of war. Boys against girls. <laughs> when I say go, you must pull the rope with all your strength. The girls will win. <laughs> no, they won't. The boys will win. Ready, steady, go. Come on, boys. Come on, pull. Come, Come on, on, the girls. girls. Everyone is pulling so hard, the rope is breaking. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> and the result is a draw. So both teams win. Hooray! I love the school sports day, especially when I win a prize. <laughs> <laughs> Emily Elephant. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are going to playgroup today. <laughs> the children each have their own hook to hang their coats on. <laughs> today we have a new pupil, Emily Elephant. Hello, Hello, Emily. Hello. Emily is a bit shy. Who would like to show Emily where to hang her coat? Me. 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 Oh, oh, we just need one, Peppa. Can you show Emily where to hang her coat? Yes, Madam Gazelle. We each have our own coat hooks. This one is for you, Emily. Emily is hanging her coat on her very own coat hook. Now, Emily, what would you like to do today? Painting, clay or building blocks? Mm, I don't know. Maybe building blocks. And everyone else? Painting, clay or building blocks? Building blocks! <laughs> My goodness! Building blocks are popular today. Everyone wants to sit next to Emily Elephant. Emily, you put one block on top of another. Like this. It's better if you put them side by side. <laughs> no, this way, Emily. Meow. This is the right way, Emily. Nay. No, Emily. Like this. You are all being very helpful. But, Emily, how would you play with the blocks? Um, I'm not very sure. I might do it like this. Wow! Emily Elephant is good at building blocks. It is playtime. <laughs> Emily, would you like to play outside with the others? Yes, please. Can someone show Emily where we play? <laughs> yes, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> At playtime, Peppa and her friends play in the school garden. You can't catch me. What a lot of noise. <laughs> Let's see who is the loudest. OK, I'll go first. <gasps> squeak, squeak! That was quite loud. Now it is Zoe Zebra's turn. <gasps> now Susie Sheep. <laughs> now Danny Dog. <laughs> that was very loud. My turn. <laughs> My turn. Nay. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> Pepper is the loudest. <laughs> <laughs> Emily, you try. I'm not too sure. Please, Emily. OK, I'll try. <gasps> My goodness, that was loud. Wow. Do it again. <gasps> Emily is not shy anymore. Emily, would you like to play my favourite game? 
What is your favourite game? Jumping in muddy puddles. That's my favourite game too. Peppa <laughs> loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Emily loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. This looks like fun. Yippee! Madam Gazelle loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Emily, have you enjoyed your first day at our playgroup? Yes, Madam Gazelle. And I see you've made lots of new friends. Yes. <laughs> Emily Elephant is my friend. <laughs> and Emily is my friend. And mine. And mine. And mine. And mine. And mine. Emily, who do you like best? Um, I like Susie and Danny and Zoe and Rebecca and Pedro and Pepper. <laughs> 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 <laughs>